Hey guys, sp 2 boys 10 here, back with a new video. Now, here we are, back with some more Slime Rancher. I know I haven't played Slime Rancher in a month, but that's mainly because I thought there was nothing else to go in this game. I thought I pretty much explored everything in this game, besides just a few more locations. However, a bit of research made me realize that there is an actual ending to this game. Who would have thought that a farming game actually had an, an ending to it? But it does have an ending, so I will keep playing the game until I reach said ending. Now also, I did a little bit of farming off camera. I got 17,000 of the coins and one key. And I got a couple more decorations. Also, I realized that in the map itself, it kind of tells you where some of the slimes are and where the teleporters are. Which I didn't realize until just now because the whole time I was looking at the map like this which was like all zoomed out so it was kind of really hard to see the inner details but once I zoom in I can actually tell that there's certain things in certain places so I used the zoomed in map to find a slime that I haven't gotten yet and got the key now I don't know if going more into this level means that I beat the game or if just after day a thousand or something, I beat the game. I have no idea. But I will try my best to do as much as I can to see if I can get to it. Now, I did get a mail. And I didn't read it. I was waiting for the video. Re. Life is different now. Casey. I had a year to think about things while you slept on your way across the stars. I think it almost scared me when things got easier. And when I finally realized that... It what we each have now is what we wanted all along. Because if you're still the girl that I know, you're happy out there on the very farthest fr frontier. And I hope the happiest you feel now... I hope the happiness you feel now lasts forever. <laughs> it's been a month since I played the Silent Merchant and I still can't read. <laughs> I hope that the sunsets over there are as gorgeous as they are over here and that if you search far enough on a rainy day, some rancher out there has a taco stand you can visit. I realize that last one probably isn't likely to happen, but it sure would be romantic, right? I'm glad to have shared a part of me with you, Beatrix, Labau, and I'm happy to know that maybe one of those stars I see up there in the sky is you. Aw, oh, that was so sweet. That was so sweet. They're, they're an amazing couple, I think they- are they a couple? I think they're a couple. I think we just discussed last episode that they're a couple, but they're adorable. Okay, so, since I have so many items in my ranch, the game kind of lags a little bit and has less frames, which is understandable, but since I have a lot of money, I can buy this. Um, more chroma, sure. Advanced slime toys. Ooh! Market link. Ginger Snap Chroma, Peapod Chroma, sure. Oh, play for f Playful Fox. That's what I am. Grotto Upgrade. What? Grotto Upgrade. Interesting. So I got a couple more colors, but I kind of like the color I have now. I'm not going to experiment a little bit, unless you all want me to experiment with the colors. If you don't, I won't. If you do, I will. But as of right now, that's not my main focus. I got a crystal ball that is for crystal slimes, stuffed chicken for reduce agitation of nearby slimes, especially, okay, hunter slimes, puzzle cube for quantum slimes, disco ball for the mosaic slimes, gyro top for the dervish slimes, charcoal brick for the fire slimes, the magma slimes, soulmate, now oh, I see what they did there. Tangle Slimes, Stego Buddy, Four Saber Slimes, and that's it. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Now, I also got a Market Link. Where is that? Alright, so I've been looking for like a good 5-10 minutes around this entire ranch, and I cannot find the Market Link. Now, I don't know if it's like straight out in the open and I'm just missing it, or it is somewhere that I haven't checked, but I genuinely do not know where it is. I thought it had something to do with this, but I don't see anywhere that it could. It kind of sucks because I did want to know where it is, but I don't want to spend all 
gameplay trying to look for it. So, I'm just gonna move on, use my key, and when I find the market link, I'll find the market link. Maybe it has something to do with this, and I have to wait till after this ends. Oh no. Okay, so what I want to do is use this key to explore more of that new world island place. So that's what I'm going to do. Ooh, wait. Oh, shoot, I don't have a Gilded Ginger. Crap. Oh, I should have brought it with me. You know what, I'm gonna do that. Just in case. Hopefully I don't die and lose it. Oh. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, forget the Q berries. I was gonna carry them for extra fruits, but I'd rather a gold decoration. Y'all know me and my gold. Alright, let me put that back. Oh, wait, no. It's not gold. It's honey. Oh, okay. Well, that's even better. Because I don't think I have a honey one. Uh, nope. I don't have one. Okay, so... Okay, now I'm going. Oh! No! You were right there, and then you were gone right when I... Oh. That's okay. Considering I've seen two already, I might find a third one, eventually. I am going to the area where they spawn more. At least I think so. So, I'll be good. I really should start making contraptions that can give me fast travel. Because walking all this way is kind of a little bit of a hassle. I should start making things easier for myself, but... You know, a part of me likes the exploration. I might stumble upon a golden slime on the way there. So... It's kind of... I'm kind of indecisive about that. Oh, wait, what? Oh, you eat me. Hey. Come on. Bounce. No, don't don't go all the way over there. I can't double bounce you. Oh. Okay. Well, that was fun while it lasted. <laughs> he went f so far. I launched him like a football. All right, here I am back in the glass desert. Now I know there is another slime hidden up on these ruins. And I will make him blow up. I forget which ones he is. I think he's a dervish one. And dervish ones eat fruit. So I have about 50 pogo fruit. So hopefully that's enough. Wait, what? What is this? Huh? Wait, what? Wait, what? Huh? Oh, I do have to put stuff in the... Oh... I do have to, those, these slime stones, right here, I do have to put something in them. And there's five in total. And it adds up right here and something pops up in the middle. I don't know. I don't know what it could be. But there's also an invisible wall right here. Do I have to get rid of that too? I don't know. But here he is. Here's, here's the boy, wait. Why are you sparkling? Why do you sound all sparkly? Do you usually sound like this? Am I missing something? Oh, wait, no. Another gilded ginger. Okay, there we go. Oh, you do eat fruit. Okay. No! That hit your mouth. Okay, I know that one didn't. I need all the fruit that I can get. I can't waste any. There we go. Come on. 50 better be enough. Oh, it was exactly enough. Hey! More rewards. Oh, another honey one. Uh, that key's floating. <laughs> I mean, usually it does float, but that was floating higher than it should. Excuse me? Oh. There we go. Alrighty. Oh, there's another treasure up there. Now the question is, what do I put in those, in these? What do I put in them? 
I tried to figure that out last episode, but I kind of cut the parts out of me trying to figure it out because, you know, it was me acting like a dummy. So, I still don't know how to figure it out. I'm, I tried to use rock slimes, didn't work. I think I tried to use puddle slimes, puddle plorts, it didn't work. I don't know. I'm sure I'll figure it out. I'm sure the, um, somewhere the game will tell me. Oh, I could figure it out on my own. Either or. But I know for a fact that these can sprout in some way, shape, or form. I know for a fact that they can because I saw a trophy of it talking about it. Now, if only I knew how. Alright. Let me just open this door. See what lies beyond. And I have an extra key, so just in case. Ooh, I... That's the first sign of me not wanting to go here. Poor chicken is stuck in the air. I got you. I mean, he, he was... I guess he was stuck somehow. Alright. Must have been one heck of a scorcher that caused these glass formations. They always looked like flames to me. Like a great firestorm covered this land before being frozen in time. Then again, maybe these are flames burning away. But at the pace we can't even perceive. Perhaps this desert has two different times overlapping one another, and here we are stuck in the middle of it. Wouldn't that just be wild? H. Yes, it would be wild. And it probably is true. Is that a new... It is. Ooh. Prickle pear. Uh, excuse me. Oh, yeah. Hopefully I don't find somebody who wants meat. You all are just gonna stay right here. <laughs> I hope you're cool with that. I'm gonna pick these up. Prickle pears. This is a fruit that knows how to fight back. Oh, That sounds like a good time. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, there's a purple one. <gasps> These are- these are for dervish. There is no other plorts that are purple besides dervish. Dervish. You eat... fruit. This is a fruit, isn't it? It is. Oops. Oops. Okay, you eat that one then. There is no way you just said that. Get out of my face. I want you to eat it. There you go. I'm gonna figure this out. This better be for a dervish slime. Aha, it is. I figured it out. I kind of had to drop my ornaments to do it, but... Uh, excuse me? Did I tell you all to transform? What's this way? Is that another... What is that? Oh, that's just a torch. Whoa. Let's not jump down there. You know, this is a giant safety hazard. You know, should put up signs. What are you? Mosaic slimes. Remarkable from every angle. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's awesome. I'm glad I found him. I'm gonna take you all home. Actually, do I have room? Yeah, I do have room. But I'm gonna take you all home. Okay, I have to read up on these mosaic slimes so that when I place them down back at my base, they don't fly away. Or poof away or something. Mosaic slimes can be very dangerous from, for an unprepared rancher. Their glass tiles create a shimmering effect in daylight that attracts other slimes to them. It is unknown why slimes exhibit this behavior exactly, but leading theories indicate that sparkly things are super cool. <laughs> okay. Mosaic plorts are desired from researching the glass structures within the glass desert. Samples of this glass turn brittle when taken from the far, far range. Yet, interestingly, mosaic plorts seem unaffected by this phenomenon. Almost entirely, this glass is being studied because it's really pretty and not because it can cause devastating solar anomalies. Hmm. Okay. Even more dangerous, the mosaic slimes can produce glints in the space around them. Ultra hot solar anomalies that grow in intensity before drifting towards the ground and bursting into flames. Glints can be snuffed with a splash of water, but the best way to reduce their appearance 
is to ensure your mosaic slimes are well fed and not agitated. Alright. Well, that's not that bad. I have the Darvish slimes in my base, and they seem to want to fly things all over the place, so I th gave them a bunch of fruit. So I'll just do the same for these guys. Now, what's going on over here? Okay. Uh, what? What? Two doors, Beatrix. Life is filled with moments where there's two doors, and you can only choose one. I came to the Far Far Range because a search for the unknown is in my bones. And in time, even a thousand light years away from Earth wasn't enough. So I searched for secrets within the ancient ruins that led me here. This place was my ticket to go even further. Huh. Interesting. What is this? The ruins are actually great engines that allow for travel through space and maybe even time. After years of study, I knew how to activate them and I alone would be the first to cross over into the true beyond. It was the ultimate adventure. But then, there's that other door. I met Thora and I fell in love. What are the chances of that? She had a piece of my heart and the universe had the other. Two doors, Beatrix. Um. Oh, that scared me. Wait, do they just both... They both lead to the same place. Don't fool me like that. <laughs> Tried to be all philosophical. I chose my door. I went back to the ranch and promptly sold it. I packed my things and took a tour of this beautiful land one last time, leaving these little notes for you. It was time I said goodbye to the life I had. My hands and f feet tingled as I approached this monolithic wrap warp terminal. What lay ahead of me was an adventure unlike anything I had ever known in my life. I stepped onto the platform, my heart racing. Okay. What's going on? It was kind of creepy, not gonna lie. Doors like these. But I didn't go. I had packed for a new adventure, but it wasn't going to be beyond space and time. So I said a little goodbye to what could have been and headed to Thor's ranch. I'm looking forward to hearing the sound of those wind chimes. I've never been in love before. Never known anything like it. It's time I got to know what all the fuss is about. So good luck to you, Beatrix. I always remember to use your head, but let your heart do the thinking every now and again. It might surprise you. This is interesting. What's going on here? This is so weird. Hi, what are you doing here? Do you have any purpose? If not, bye bye So what if I actually do come in using the other door? Does it actually change? Or is it the exact same thing? It's... It's the exact same thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's the exact same thing. Hmm. Something about the night makes everything all glow up and chime. There must be to something to this. But this place is so cool. I have to know what this means. It has to mean something. He said, but I didn't go, so I could uh, so he what doors are he ta uh, is he talking about? Because both doors ended up leading to the same area. Is it just a metaphor? Did he just metaphorically talk to me about philosophy? But there is a glow on the map. Hmm. Is there something up here? Like at the very tippity top? They wouldn't do that, would they? I mean, would I be able to even make it up there? I might.
Oh, almost. There's probably other parts I can climb on. Oh, I did it. I did it. I'm the best. I'm the greatest in the entire world. I did it. Now, was this pointless? Might be. Might have been. Probably is. Knowing me, it was completely pointless. I shouldn't have done this. I don't know why I took the time to do this. Oh, maybe. No, it's probably pointless. Alright, well. Glad I did that, I guess. I feel accomplished, but at what cost? I don't know what those do. They they look like they hold some sort of power. There's no way to actually, like, do anything with it. Oh, another mail from Casey. Okay, I'll have to read that. I really need... I really should have made a contraption to where I can put my stuff inside of, like, a storage that can go all the way back to base. I'm sure there is a gadget like that. Or a ma machine that I can make that does that. But I didn't make it. This game is huge. I just gotta say that right now. This game is pretty big. I didn't expect it to be as big as it is, but I'm not complaining. I do like the size. Let's me have a lot to explore. This space is very mysterious. I like it though. I like the uh, aesthetic of the glass. It looks really cool. Wait, why did that lava slime pop up? Usually they only pop up when there's like fire stuff going on. But there's no fire stuff going on. That was just certainly weird. Ooh, I want more of you. You you all look great. Ooh, they made sparkles. That was so cool. These mosaic slimes are one of the most beautiful slimes in this game. Besides, you know, the tabby slimes, because nothing's more adorable than those guys. More wind chimes. I keep hearing wind chimes. Curious as to why it's there. But oh well, there's another door that I can open. And I do have an extra key. My head's going through the key. This is probably just... Yeah, this is just another way leading back. Which, that's fine. Now I have two ex two different ways of going inside that new area. <clears throat> so I'm not complaining. There is a teleporter here that leads back to base. I do remember that. <clears throat> hey, I got a trophy and an achievement while you were away. I was really gone that long. That trophy gives it to you after you're gone for like over 24 hours. Was I really gone for that long? It might have been. Okay, so what to do with the mosaic slimes? I think there's one more area over here that I can put them in. Hopefully they don't irritate the other guys. Do I have enough? Yeah, I should have enough. Coral. High walls. Music box, why not? Air net. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to save up for the other things. But at least I did them. Do they die in the morning? No, because I picked them up in the morning. Okay, never mind. What do they what do they eat? They eat veggies. What's the best veggie that they want? Do I Oh, I forgot they do that. Do I have the veggie that they want? So of parsnip, I think so, yeah. They're making it look so amazing over here. I'm glad I have it all the way over here so that they don't bother these guys over here cuz it doesn't it only seems like it go, only goes out so far. I want to make a prickled pear tree. Actually, I don't think I can. I don't have any more room. Oh, I do have room right here. Am I gonna do it? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I already did it. <clears throat> uh, okay. Let's read the other mail I got from Beatrix. Another tour. Casey. The adventure continues. Oh. Another tour. Hi, B. There's another tour coming up, and I have a feeling that this will be the one. So here I am, packing my bags and thinking of you. Maybe this is how it felt when you were leaving for your big adventure. Lots of excitement, lots of butterflies. You didn't even know I know you're so far away. I keep thinking that I'll catch you somewhere out there in the crowd. If that ever happens, I promise I'll sing a song for you. It wouldn't be the first time. 
Aw. That day, Beatrix took a moment to reflect. She thought about Hobson and Thora, and the adventures she'd had exploring the far, far range. But most of all, she thought of Casey, and wondered where life would take her next. Oh, is this Casey? That's awesome. <laughs> I didn't expect to beat the game today, but I did. That's awesome. I, I love this game. I might actually play this game more in my own free time to just do the other trophies, because I only think I think I have, like, five left. But this was an amazing game. It's a very adorable. It's very cute. It has so much more than you expect in a game that's just all about farming. It has like a whole new world and the world has like so much more to explore. Well, this is a nice song. But yeah, this game was great. I absolutely love this game and I'm glad that I can finally that cat was on fire. But I'm glad I can finally beat the game. I didn't, like I said at the beginning, I didn't know there was an ending, and apparently I was really close to it. <laughs> this only took me, like, what, 30 minutes to actually beat? But I'm, I'm glad I was able to do it. Explore this game to the very end. I mean, there's still a couple areas that I have yet to explore, but they're pretty much, like, just extra areas that aren't mandatory. And I'm glad that I was able to play this game again because a part of me kind of wanted to stop playing this game because I thought there was no point in continuing because I thought there was nothing left. And there definitely was. And I'm glad I went back to it. And I'll definitely play this game on my own time just farming whenever I'm in a bad mood or whenever I want relaxation. Oh. That's what that song was. That was a nice song. I like that. I like that song. For every pioneer on every new frontier, be brave. Be bold. And stay wiggly. <laughs> that was nice. That was a nice ending to this game. Hey, I got a mail from Hobson. Let me read that. But like I said, I'm going to definitely play this game more on my own free time. Whenever I'm either in a bad mood or just in a chilling mood and just want to play a quick game. I, I'll definitely go back to this game because it's very carefree. It's very adorable. It'll definitely cheer you up when you're down. There's even a trophy that when the tabby slimes bo boop you on the nose, you get a trophy for it. Like, that's adorable. <laughs> this game definitely is a cheerful, positive game. And it's good to play a game like this, especially when times are tough. So. Hello there. Hello, Beatrix. I just wanted to say thanks for taking care of the old ranch. I know I left it in a bit of a sorry state. And from what I hear, it's looking mighty fine these days. Makes me feel all warm and fuzzy knowing that it's in such good hands. As a little thank you, I've activated three secret vaults that I built years ago to stash a fall, small fortune of mine. I'd always planned on using it as walking around money in the great beyond. But I ain't needin' for that no more. But you know me. I like a good adventure. I'm not telling where the vaults are located. Go explore. Whoa. Go explore. There it is. <laughs> okay. So, although the game is over and I reached the credits, there's still more to explore after it. And there's end credit stuff. That's so cool. There's still a couple things that I haven't done in this game, like open up the blue treasure pods. I wasn't able to do that. And now, the, apparently, there's vaults. And not only that, but I didn't gi give a golden slime a gilded ginger just to see what happens 
I haven't done that. There's a lot of stuff that I haven't done in this game yet. And I haven't fully done everything in the different ranches that I can explore and do mini games off of. of. Well, why'd I say of like three times? <laughs> um, but I, I still love this game. And if you all want me to continue this game, do let me know and I will continue it. But as of right now, I feel no, I don't really feel any need to continue it unless I want to go through end game secrets. Which, if you want to see that, do let me know. But, if not, then that's completely fine, too. This is, a, if we ended on this, that would be a good end. So, it doesn't matter to me if we continue or not, because, if anything, I'm going to find the vaults and stuff on my own free time, because I'm a completionist. But, yeah, just let me know your feedback. And, thank you, everybody, for watching. If today's your birthday. Happy birthday if you sneeze on this video. Bless you. If you had a bad day, I hope this did you up in some way. And thank you for watching all these Slime Rancher videos if you watch all of them. If this is your only one, then you surely skip to the end. <laughs> but, oh, someone died over there. But thank you for watching this video in its entirety. I really appreciate it. And if you watch all the other videos, thank you for that as well. I know these videos can be quite long, but I really appreciate every single one of you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this game. And because I, I certainly have. But, yeah. There's not really much else to do in this game besides find collectibles. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't know if I did my outro already, but I'm going to do it again. Thank you, everybody, for watching. If today's your birthday, happy birthday. If you need to send video, bless you. If you had a bad day, I hope that you do up in some way. And, yeah. See you, everybody.